Gideon Rhodes, it's just better and better. And I was blown away by Harvard's Graham Allison's essay, which is a blistering attack on American certitude. What is Graham Allison and what do you say that's under threat in Washington right now? Okay, so the biggest debate right now, it seems that the Trump administration has no interest in perpetuating what everybody else has called the liberal international order, the notion of the American-sponsored open world trading system, <clears throat> peaceful alliance structure, and so forth. Trump is basically lighting a fire to all that. And the question of will the liberal international order survive and can it survive Trump is a big question of the day. What Allison argues is that you know what, that liberal international order wasn't some big new thing. It was basically just the way America organized its sphere of interest. And it was always uh, much more about American power. It's now diminishing as American right. power is diminishing. And get over yourself, there was no big sea change in world politics. And the United States... Well, this is, is a great, key thing. I was going to go to the quote on Graham Allison, but let's do this. This is so important. Was that liberal order a moment in time? Exactly. Or is it an American theology we can drive forward? Which is it? Well, I would say that it's both. The, the challenge that American and other policymakers faced in 1945 and after was you just had half a century of war, depression, and war again. And everybody realized if you ran that cycle again, you would have death, destruction, and poverty. And so they created a new system that was an attempt to go beyond that. Let's not have war, let's have peace. Let's not have a beggar thy neighbor policies and tariffs. Let's have an open trading system. They created that. It seemed to work pretty well for several decades. It ran into some problems. And now, basically, the question is, are you going to get rid of it? And if so, what else are you going to put in its place? And nobody really okay. knows. I think it will last, but I don't think that this is its best day right now. The question is, right, will, but, Trump, but will anybody Gideon, respond to Trump? Yeah. Right. Will anyone respond to Trump? If you look at G7, and, you know, we had that quite powerful image of a uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel kind of looking like this on the desk, you know, uh, looking rather menacingly, is who's the, the, the leader of the free world, like the, the initial sense of the free world? Like, you know, the, who's the defender of capitalism right now? Well, this is a great question. So basically, this is like the, uh, the Iliad, <clears throat> Achilles, the greatest uh, fighter on the Greek side, is basically sulking in his tent. And the other Greek players are <clears throat> saying, hey, come out and fight the Trojans. And Patroclus, Macron is like Patroclus. He's saying, let me go out and lead the Greek forces. And Merkel's that. But the question is, you can't win the battle with Achilles on the sidelines. The, the world trade order cannot be that. saved if yeah, the United great. States is falling asleep on the sidelines.